Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at the full moon that's occurring on March 25th, 2024. And not only is this a full moon, but this is an eclipse, a lunar eclipse. So this is big energy. So we're gonna take some time and go through each life path number and what you might expect uh, working with the energies that will be coming up around this illumination. Because this is an, this is an eclipse and it's much more potent, you could definitely be feeling those energies already. And this usually being an eclipse will start a storyline that will carry over for about the next six months, up to a year even. So whatever starts coming in for you around this time and definitely around the eclipse, uh, pay attention to because there's likely going to be more to the story that unfolds as you move forward on your journey. And these will be the, the, um, the potent themes that you're working with based on the numerology. Okay, so before we get into the forecast, uh, this of course is a general reading. If you would like to know what energies you might be personally dealing with around this eclipse or the year ahead or just your personal numerology, please book some time with me. I would love to work with you and take a look. Uh, you can find my information in the description box below and book some time with me. All right, let's get into it. Life path number one. So this eclipse is bringing in the energies of the 19 one for you all. So of course you're working with your own in, uh, energy of the one, but you have this influencing en energy of the 19 and this is significant. This indicates some kind of renewal, regeneration, something like a fresh start um, and maybe starting to do something in a way that you haven't thought of before or some new insights might come in for you that you're meant to take action on, but in a new way. And the purpose of these sort of new starts or regeneration, of course, is for the purpose of evolution, to be able to move forward in sort of an evolved way with a project, with a relationship, with a you know a belief system, something along those lines. So this eclipse is gonna come in and potentially eclipse out what isn't or wasn't working and help you to see things in a new light and potentially approach things differently. Um, the other thing that could likely come in under this is the necessity to, of course, be the leader, that's one energy, but lead alongside of others. <clears throat> and so yes to looking for solutions and resources and building and creating those solutions and resources but just make sure that you're having the conversation with others to find out what is truly needed at this time. And so that you're not just solely focused on what it is that you want to see. Um, that doesn't mean that you stop moving towards that greater vision. Absolutely, keep going. Um, but you may need to pause and make sure you're checking in with the people that you're creating the resource for to make sure that it's needed or make sure that it's going to serve the purpose that you're intending for it to serve, if that makes sense. Now, you all are also going to be working with raccoon energy. And so this is so aligned with the 19 one. This is about enthusiasm and being that free spirit and taking, um, you know, taking action on those new ideas, even if it brings in, um, you know, make, even, even if it brings in self doubt, or even if you don't feel confident enough to do it, raccoon energy helps you to find the courage, but in a playful way where you're not taking life so serious. Raccoon reminds us that we can get the job done with fun <laughs> while being curious, while having fun, while playing, right? So there's definitely a free spirit, have fun, don't take things too serious, don't let yourself get too serious or too bogged down <clears throat> or let the self-doubt take over. Definitely be curious under this energy and keep finding your enthusiasm while you lead alongside of others. So incredibly beautiful energy for you all ones. I hope it's a powerful uh, eclipse and full moon. And yeah, hope it's a great one. Take care, guys. Bye for now.